Hello everybody, this is Son Goku Gaming here, and today we're back for another episode review. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've been caught up with schoolwork and a bunch of stuff, but we're going to go ahead and do this one now because I just got done watching this, and I was like, hey, just got done watching it. Why not make one while it's still fresh in my memory? Now, oh my god, if you have not seen this yet, it was freaking amazing. Now, as we know, because it is an episode review, this is going to be containing spoilers for those of you that have not seen it. So if you do not want to be spoiled about anything that's going to be happening, you should go. And I'll do another video later or at the end of this one for the preview and what I think is going to be happening. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so I'm going to be hitting the major key points mostly in this. So first off, we have Future Trunks telling Kid Trunks about why the future didn't, why he thinks the future hasn't changed about Beerus killing Zamasu. Well. He says, a long time ago when I first came here, the androids were the major ones that were hurting and killing everyone in the future. He says it's different because the 18 here married and the 18 in his timeline killed everyone. He never met Goku or Vegeta and he explains the whole heart virus situation, how Goku would have been dead without it. And Goku was pretty much just like, yeah, thanks again. And he's like, no problem. And Trunks is like, so you think it didn't change because when you did it, nothing happened. And he was like, yeah. And then future, at the more that he explains, the more Kid Trunks is like, okay, I understand. He's like, so you were just a participant, not really helping. Like, you didn't change it. And he was like, yes. Now we have where everyone is in the time machine. They're going through and Goku see, and it's kind of overcrowded because there's four people in there. There's Vegeta, Bulma, Future Trunks, and Goku. And they're pretty much going back to see if anything changes, and they show up. And Future Trunks looks around, he's like, it didn't work. Nothing's changed. It's still the same world. And he's just like, I knew it wasn't going to change, nothing was going to be affected. And Bulma's just sitting there like, this is how the future looks. And then we see Black and Zamasu, and they are like, oh, they're back. Like, Zamasu's just sitting there pouring that tea. And he looked, and he's like, they're back. And then you just see uh, Black Goku, he just smiles, and he's ready to go and kill him. Then we have uh, pretty much Trunks finds Mai, and she's hurt, and he puts a sensu bean in his mouth and chews it up and he like kisses her and like puts it in her mouth from his mouth pretty much you know and what I think why I'm putting this here is this is funny because like your lips on her lips and Vegeta's like you've never done that Goku's like no and he's like but you're married he was like so what does it have to do with this and Vegeta's like what's wrong with you Goku you have you, you're something wrong with you and we just see Bulma talking to Yajirobe and she's like oh you're here thank you for saving Vegeta and or thank you for saving was it Vegeta no it was Goku and Trix. She's like, thank you for saving Vegeta Goku and Trunks. He's like, yeah, he just rubs his beard and he's like, yeah, I'm all cool. And you see Mai wake up and Trunks just hugs her and, you know, it's like one of those moments that get to you, so I kind of had to talk about this. And then she, they're all like, oh, Trunks, she, he's, she's all healed. How did you do that? And he just smiles. And then she sees Bulma and she's like, Bulma, you're here? And Bulma's like, yeah. And then she like pulls all these capsules and she's like, I brought food, water, anything that you guys might need. Now we've got those out of the way, let's go ahead and get into my favorite part of the whole thing, the whole episode, which I thought was the best part, even though it lasts like five whole seconds. Now let's go ahead and skip ahead to where we see Zamasu and Black standing there, and Goku and them go up, and Black's like, oh, you guys are back, you you guys want to get wrecked again? He's like, I've become even stronger, Vegeta. He's like, bro, I'm going to kill you, and he hits that blue, and he starts charging towards Black, and then Black hits that Super Saiyan Rose and goes up, and they just start trading blows, and they, they look pretty evenly matched, then Vegeta just to hit him, and like, I don't know exactly what it is, but all these lights just go off, and it like cuts these buildings in half and stuff, and Zamasu and Goku are just watching and Black's just laughing, and then he goes back to his base form, and as does Vegeta, and he's like, why do you want to kill me, Vegeta? He's like, I don't want to kill you, I just want to get you, I want to kill you because, not for my own sake, but for Trunks and the future. And you see Black, and he's like, how unsan like of you. Now, this is where it gets interesting. B Goku tells them, I know you the Dragon Balls, to create a fake me, and kills the monster. He's like, Goku, a fake? I'm not fake. This is your body. And Goku's like, what? And he says... This is the genuine Son Goku, but this heart belongs to me, Zamasu. And he's like, what? He's like, I switched bodies with you for my first wish, and then I killed the other you. And Goku's like, what? How could you? That's pretty much all I had to say about this episode, guys. I really loved it, and it was like one of my favorites, especially with them finally revealing who Black Goku really was. If you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button and comment down in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for loads of content like this and other stuff to be coming. Have a great day, guys, and remember to stay saying goodbye.